this is the, the top of uh, what is known historically as Tafelkop on Arbeitsfrucht. So, um, with these dolerite formations, um, they not only provide ideal panels for, for making rock engravings, uh, but sometimes from the way that they weather and break up, they produce a ringing sound when beaten, such as this. And there are instances where we can actually find um, ancient beating marks around the edges of such rocks, uh, to, which show that they were actually used as, as, as uh, rock gongs or ringing rocks in the past. Um, this particular instance is, is not such a, an example um, and we would, we would certainly avoid beating on uh, real historical rock gongs. Um, but it's a good example of the kind of, of rock um, that would have been used uh, like that. We don't know much about the, the context of these rock gongs, the later Stone Age rock gongs, but um, they, uh, <coughs> they are often associated with, with places where, where there's also rock art, rock engravings. They, they are known from, from various parts of the world. Um, the first um, actual description uh, of rock gongs in South Africa, um, or fr from this region, um, dates from the 1960s, uh, when in fact a, a predecessor of mine at the museum in Kimberley uh, was the first to describe it from a site in the Karoo, not very far from here. Dora Fock, uh, was, was her, her husband was uh, researching the rock engravings, and she did a lot of field work with him and uh, I suppose they were very carefully looking at all the rocks and then she noticed these regular beating marks and wondered what it was and discovered that the, the rock w was ringing. Interestingly though, um, on further inquiry in the area, she found that the, the, the farm workers uh, referred to these as Busman Klafire, which means Bushman Pianos. So there was in fact a continuing knowledge of them in uh, part of the community uh, that had been become divorced to some extent from, uh, well certainly from mainstream knowledge about these places. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, a, an interesting aspect of, uh, of uh, interaction with, with ancient places uh, by people still in the landscape.